Let's answer questions about limiting reagent to do with nitrogen and hydrogen reacting to form ammonia. A reaction mixture contains two moles of nitrogen gas and three moles of hydrogen gas. And we are asked which is the limiting reagent. So obviously the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what is limiting reagent? It's the reactant that runs out first in a reaction. And because it runs out first, it will produce less of the product if all of it can be used up. It also determines the yield of the products. But we're going to use the second bullet. It's the reactant that will produce less to help us to determine which is the limiting reagent. So we're going to see if all of this nitrogen is used up, how much ammonia would it produce? And how does that compare to the amount of ammonia that would be produced if rather all of this three moles of hydrogen were used up? And whichever one produces less ammonia, that is the limiting reagent. So the first step is to determine the reaction ratio for this reaction. And we only need to give this in a mole ratio form because we only have moles in the question. So we don't need to do a conversion to mass. So this is very easy. We simply use the coefficients in the balanced equation. Every one mole of nitrogen needs three moles of hydrogen to react with it. And they produce two moles of ammonia. Now remember, we have to find the limiting reagent. And we're going to use the fact that the limiting reagent is the one that produces less of the product. It's a reactant, so it's either nitrogen or hydrogen in this case. And it's the one of those which will produce less of the product, ammonia, if all of it is used up. So we write two sub-questions for ourselves. How many moles of ammonia are going to be produced if all of the nitrogen that we have, which is two moles, is used up? And our second question, how many moles of ammonia would be produced if all of the hydrogen that we have, which is three moles, is used up? And then the one that produces less is our limiting reagent. So how many moles of ammonia would be produced in each case if we use up all the nitrogen, two moles of it, or all the hydrogen, three moles of it? In each case, we need to multiply our question by a conversion factor. And that conversion factor comes from the reaction ratio for this particular question. Although obviously we choose the particular form of the reaction ratio such that it will be useful. In other words, we need to cancel away moles of nitrogen in the first case. We need to cancel away moles of hydrogen in the second case. And for both, we need to introduce moles of ammonia. Now we know that we get two moles of ammonia from every one mole of nitrogen that reacts. And we get two moles of ammonia from every three moles of hydrogen that reacts. So that tells us we'll get four moles of ammonia if all of the nitrogen is used up, but we'll only get two moles of ammonia if all of the hydrogen is used up. And the limiting reagent is the one that produces less. Two moles is less than four moles, of course. And so that tells us that it's hydrogen that's the limiting reagent in this particular situation. So we've answered our question about which is the limiting reagent. It's hydrogen. Now, how about answering what mass of ammonia will be produced? So remember, we've just seen that it's two moles of ammonia that will be produced. Here we saw it. If all the hydrogen is used up. If the question had asked how many moles of ammonia will be produced, then we'd be finished. Two moles. But because it asks what mass, we need to find out how many grams of ammonia two moles of ammonia is. So hopefully it's obvious to you that we should just multiply the molar mass of ammonia by two. But let's lay it out the long way, just to be clear. We know that the molar mass of ammonia is equal to 14 for the N plus three times one for the H, which is 17 grams per mole. 17 
grams of ammonia is the mass of one mole of ammonia. So two moles of ammonia have a mass of 34 grams.